What's up? I'm Maddie. Yeah, I'm from East LA, and I'm here to see the Run Centric Boy. Uh, Maddie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the last show for the Runs. Uh, they sing about anti-gentrification and other topics. This is as political as punk gets. Never in two decades of you know going to backyard shows and being a punk in LA have I ever seen a local restaurant celebrate the local punk scene by offering burgers themed after bands. This is a big moment and this is their last show. I think it's gonna crack. Punk streets are talking. Why are you quitting punk? This is Nick from the Runts. What's your full name, Nick? Uh, Nick uh, Carvajal. Um, yeah, to put it in a in a very uh, brief way, we feel like what we're doing is partaking in recycled capitalism. The music industry is not uh, there to help musicians. They're there to just make money. They don't care if you know you're supporting them as they get bigger and then they drop off. They're they're there for the next check. We don't feel like it's a political punk band. It makes sense to, you know, ha have these shows, play Live Nation venues, uh, sell these merch, like sell this merch for profit and stuff. And because of that, it's un unsustainable for us, and we have to bow out. You know, funnily enough, we're doing this whole big shebang, but a lot of these things are going to help the people that are in our community. So that's exactly why we're doing it. And this is the last show. Last show, for sure. When you started the runs in 2000, when? Six, five, maybe? To 2005, that uh, that you were gonna have a burger named after you and playing your last show, allegedly, right? Because you know things change, emotions. Yeah, yeah. I, I can say that on camera. It's not gonna change. Um, there's a lot of things that we don't want to participate in anymore. Um, I mean, obviously, I love being in the band and stuff, but it's just it's outgrown us. Um, but yeah, I, I never expected this. Burger Lords. You know, they approached us about it and I thought it'd be a great idea to kind of like showcase the restaurants that we should be supporting in our neighborhood, right? You know, Fred has his father who opened up Oinkster in, in Eagle Rock, which is still Northeast LA, just up the road. So obviously this is something I wanted to be a part of, you know, just kind of a way to tie up everything and make it a cool weekend for folks. All the profit from the merch that we're selling here is going straight to the employees, except the owner. I told him he can't have any of that money. Um, but it's going to all the employees. They go to our shows, they stage dive for our shows. So I thought, I mean, might as well end it this way. And, you know, thank you for supporting us and support uh, each other. So tell us about, so tell us about your, your act, you know, this is the Runs Burger, right? This one, hold on, not vegan. Yeah, this is the Runs Burger right here. <laughs> um, it's like, uh, it's a Chipotle aioli sauce, two patties. You know, I'm a fan of In-N-Out. I haven't eaten it in years because they have crazy conservative views. When I get the Crave, I would just come here. And so I was like, it was kind of mollied after that. And Arnold, the head chef, uh, wanted to throw in the, the aioli. And dude, when we came here and tried it, we we're like, this is amazing. But we also have Big Boy, which is three patties, a big ass onion ring in there, and barbecue sauce, the way Brandon likes it, the singer of Big Boy. We have Corrupted Elote. I mean, if you know Nacho, he's 100% Raza, you know? So this- Double Sinaloan. Yeah, dude, it makes sense, you know? And then we have the Scout Burger. Uh, it's a, like a smash patty with yellow chiles, ketchup and mustard. Pretty simple, but amazing as well. Awesome, man. All right, well, let's again. Yeah, hell yeah. I believe this is mine. I apologize if not, <laughs> but I'm hungry. On that note, but uh, your last show that you threw at the lodge, uh, you donated uh, all the proceeds to the LA Tenants Union because you know, you're putting your money where your mouth is. Highland Park is probably ground zero for what I like to call a violent gentrification. Tell me like what a punk can do to resist that and not be an active participant in that. Yeah, yeah definitely. I think the most simple way of doing it is uh, spending your money wisely. You know, it sucks because there were a lot of amazing restaurants here or even stores, clothing stores, skate shops, graffiti shops, but they all closed down because the rents kept going up and up. You know, you have to be wise of where you spend your money. Coming to places like Burger Lords, Las Casuelas, Filarios across the street, you know, you don't need to go to Mendocino Farms. You don't need to, you know, buy a $50 steak down the street. Those places aren't here for us. Or a $100 perfume. Uh, yeah, a $100 perfume. I tell people, you can give things up you were born without them, you'll be able to live with that. You know, for example, I don't have Amazon. I, I don't 
I, I try my best not to buy from big corporations. There's pl places where you can't escape it, obviously. But if you want to help where you live, it starts locally, and that's where it grows. All right, Nick. Well, thanks. Well, thanks so much for talking to me. Before you start, I can imagine you're nervous as hell. Yeah, super. I've thrown up like three times already. So yeah, I'm super nervous. Well, I'll see you in the pit, and um, I mean, let's see into the future, man. Whatever, whatever happens, right? Yeah, thank you. Cheers. I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys. Another thing, I jumped off the stage for Big Boy, and you motherfuckers didn't catch right there. You're fucking asshole. Hey, if you're in the front, you better fucking catch.